We are halfway uh, to the mark on the road to 2024 Lok Sabha elections. The voting is now over in key states with uh, the conclusion of phase three polling. Voting has been done in 283 of the 534 seats. An approximate phase three voter turnout is at 64.4%. The voting is now over in Karnataka, state of Gujarat, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, as well as Kerala. And Tanish Punjabi joins us uh, to get us more details. Tanish, how should we read uh, the voter turnout uh, in uh, the third phase in terms of how BJP and uh, the allies have performed? Because historically, uh, a lower voter turnout tends to help the BJP uh, in uh, Lok Sabha elections. And uh, we have seen uh, a lo lower voter turnout this time around in uh, UP. Well, uh, you know, that's that might not entirely be the case because, you know, uh, in the first two phases, we saw we saw a dip in the voter turnout as compared to 2019. If I talk about Uttar Pradesh, but now uh, the voter turnout has improved uh, in comparison to 2019. Uh, uh, th there was a slight difference, a couple, uh, one or two percent and the figures will update it after some time again. So uh, uh, we can say the we can say that this voter turnout situation has certainly improved if we compare from phase one and phase two if i talk about uttar pradesh the you know i was uh, uh, talking about uttar pradesh the 55 percent was the average voter turnout the highest voter turnout was in sambal the lowest was in uh, the lowest was in agra and the difference you know uh, there was all there's if we compare it with 2019 uh, of the 10 districts of uttar pradesh there was a difference of around one to two to three one to three percent between uh, between 2019 and 2022 if you look at the uh, constituency wise voter turnout uh, but the highest drop was in agra of around 6% and hatras of, of around 6% both of them sc seats so but yes the voter turnout has definitely improved uh, the voter turnout you know there is always uh, 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 it is always believed that the low voter turnout impacts the ruling government because it is the pro uh, incumbent voter that tends to not vote and you know we, we uh, so that was that was of course a sign of worry for the bjp but it seems like the situation has improved as far as the uttar as far as uttar pradesh is concerned right and as far as assam is concerned 81.61% uh, voter turnout was seen uh, Ratnadeep, this is the highest among all the states that went to polls yesterday. That's right. And this, despite overnight rain, so there were a lot of concerns whether uh, there would be a, a better voter turnout in the third and the final phase for Assam. Remember, in the first phase as well, Assam turnout was 78%. Uh, in the second phase, it crossed the 80% mark. So across Northeast, we have seen in these three phases, very high turnout. Remember, in the first two phases, Tripura actually registered highest turnout in both the phases among all the states which went to poll in the first two phases. And this time, it is Assam. And this, this time, uh, remember, in the first first few hours the uh, turnout was little less given the fact that it was raining in the first half of the day but as the day progressed we brought those pictures to you where people came in hundreds to the polling stations to vote there were polling stations where after even 5 pm there were still hundreds of people who were waiting to vote and they were given tokens they uh, in several polling stations uh, polling actually concluded uh, uh, around 7 8 pm so this just goes to show the excitement that was there among people and uh, uh, many watchers say that this actually uh, might help the BJP given the fact that the BJP has uh, actually used its ground carders, its machinery to get uh, the voters to vote. However, there is also a logic that in some uh, uh, places, particularly in lower Assam, uh, in uh, you know Muslim dominated areas where there is a tough fight between the Congress and the AIUDF, like seats like Dhubri, uh, where both the Congress and the AIUDF have been able to mobilize its supporters. So therefore, uh, uh, this turnout is very crucial and perhaps uh, BJP will think that this is going to help them given the fact that in this phase, remember out of the four seats, three seats were the seats where the allies were contesting and if you look at the 2019 results, allies did not contribute in terms of numbers, in terms of sending MPs. So therefore, if BJP has to maximize its seats from Assam, allies will have to deliver this time. And this, therefore, this turnout might be very crucial. Uh, although they were uh, the peace, uh, the polling was completely peaceful, barring minor incidents reported from Kokrajhar district, and also around 900 units of 
if EVMs had to be replaced because of some malfunctioning, that's what we are hearing from EC sources. This turnout of 81% is an approximate figure. Today, more uh, tabulation will be done and it, it is expected to only rise and perhaps give more hope to the BJP and its allies. The big question is whether the turn, high turnout actually also helps the opposition or not. All right, Ratnadeep Chaudhary, thank you very much for getting us all the details uh, from Assam.